this is Rochelle and Jonesy with some more interesting language facts from American Language Services. Oh, we lost the power. <laughs> no worries, though. The show must go on. Take it away, Rochelle. Thanks, Jonesy. Did you know that nearly 16 million people speak Khmer worldwide? The majority of U.S. Khmer speakers come from Cambodia, where it is the official language. Yeah, Khmer is also spoken in other countries as well, you'll be happy to hear, like Thailand and Vietnam. And the word Khmer is used to refer to not only the official language of Cambodia, but also to the ethnic Cambodian population in that region. Approximately 90% of Cambodia's inhabitants are ethnic Khmer. The rest are either Vietnamese or Chinese origin. And the Khmer language has been written since the 7th century, deriving from what was originally a southern Indian language. That's over 2,000 miles away from Cambodia. Crazy! And now, <laughs> you know what time it is. Time for some fresh fish, grilled Cambodian style. Who wants some? I mean, who wants some fresh fish off the grill? Jonesy, how do you make fresh grilled fish at work? Oh, it's easy. I brought my portable electric grill. I also brought my electric juicer to make tikalak, which are Cambodian smoothies, and my electric guitar and air for entertainment. And let me guess, you plug them all in at the same time? <laughs> That's right. All in the same socket, too. For convenience and to save space. Oh, yeah. Cambodian fish smoothie party time. How do you say dang it in Khmer? Doc Bay. Doc Bay. This is Rochelle signing off with more interesting language facts from American Language Services. Making our world a little smaller, one word at a time. I'm talking Cambodian style, baby. I mean, 